Hey guys, Dylan Bradley here with another uh, CSS uh, and ClickFunnels uh, tip that could be very helpful for you guys. I struggled for hours trying to figure this out and um, I didn't have to. I was playing around with things, just trying to learn more, but I don't want the same thing to happen to you and so I, that's why I'm providing this resource. Okay, so one of the things with with ClickFunnels is it's awesome that, that everything, they make it so easy to drag and drop and do all that kind of stuff, but when you do that, right, and this isn't a knock against ClickFunnels, this is just how it works. When you simplify things, you have to make sacrifices. And it, what it means is if there's less user control, like so, which, which essentially what it is when you have drag and drop platforms and builders, you have less control because you're not writing the specific code for each portion of it, right? So that's why really hardcore developers, if you are a hardcore developer, they like to be able to control everything, right? Um, it's like people who have Android phones love the flexibility and all the different stuff you can do with it versus an iPhone, right? iPhones are really simple, easy to use, but when you wanna get really in the nitty gritty stuff, it can be a lot more difficult, right? That makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't, let me know. But Anyways, so what happens is uh, when you use CSS, you can use CSS and ClickFunnels to make things look uh, a little bit cleaner, you know, to add a little more advanced functional functionality to things or add features that ClickFunnels doesn't support in the drag and drop editor, right? Uh, so that's really awesome. And I did a few lessons on how to do, you know, make your sections the right height always and how you can, you can do uh, differences between desktop and mobile. Well, one of the things that I struggled with was this navigation bar right here. Um, and the issue was, is I was trying to make it, see how it turns red when I highlight over that? That's how I want it to be, but I couldn't get it there for the life of me. I just couldn't figure it out. My code was, I thought was right, and it was right, uh, but there was something that was getting in the way. Uh, so what happens is sometimes click funnels will, because they have the drag and drop interface, if, so what I did is I went and actually changed, um, and I'll show you if this works. So I went and changed the default color on this navigation bar, right? So when you add a new navigation, I'll just show you that here. Uh, right, content, navigation. When you add a new navigation bar, see how it's a different color, right? So I changed it because I don't like the way that looks, right? And uh, But what that did is ClickFunnels automatically wrote their own CSS code for when I change it, and that was like the master code. And I didn't know this, but this that's a thing, right? So if you change certain things, ClickFunnels will write a master code, right? Which, say, which essentially says like, this change is the most important change in, and disregard other changes, right? Uh, which isn't good because then I wasn't able to turn this red, right? And that made me sad, <laughs> right? So uh, the way to do this and the really simple way is, I'm gonna delete that because that's not important. Um, I'm not going to show you like how to get all the code and everything, but it's this is the the line of code right here that I that I use for to change to make that um, when I hover over it uh, to make it change colors. But all you had to do, all I had to do was add this, you know, exclamation point important, right? And that told the code, so it told ClickFunnels that this piece of code is the most important, right? So I'm going to remove that and let's see what happens. So I took that one out. Now, see how it doesn't turn red when I took out important, right? So when I go back in here and just, you just add it right after red, right after the color, right? And just, you know, put that back in there. Oh, that's not what I want. Estimation point, important, boom. Okay, so right there, and now it changes. So if you ever run into problems and you're like, man, I think my code is right, and I'm just not sure why this isn't working, perhaps there's a, there's a, a hidden code that is, ClickFunnels is saying is more important than yours. So you just gotta designate that um, important part to it, right? Really simple, but if you didn't know about it, like I didn't know about it, then uh, it can cause a lot of headaches. But uh, that's the fix. So hopefully this is helpful and uh, stay tuned for more.